Uh, my name is Don. I'm one of the assembly technicians for the DSD units. And I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to get the power supply board, the analog board, in correctly. Now the first trick is, as you set it in, you want to put the power supply board at somewhat of an angle here and tilt it so the so the connector that holds the screw fits just under the power receptacle and when you first set it in there you'll see the holes won't line up so to get the holes to line up we'll start off with the screw in this corner and kind of hold the board up and then as you screw this one in, it will move the board over and now all the holes are lined up correctly. And the rest of the screws should go in a lot smoother. And then one last screw to hold it to the back panel. And now the power supply board is in and secure. Next we'll do the analog board. And the analog board, same type of deal, where you'll hold it up at somewhat of an angle to slide in the connectors. And then just set it down and want to make sure the rings both come through the back side and then with this one the first screws you'll want to put in are the screws into the back panel here the 632 screws and what these will do is pull the board into the back panel and help align the holes on the inside So after you get those two in, then you'll use the second set of 632 screws and they'll go into the middle slots. And once you've got these four screws in, the rest of the screw holes and the holes for the standoffs should line up pretty well. So now I gotta grab some of these screws. These are the number four screws, the 440. And then next we'll do the standoffs. And once all those screws are in, the standoffs shouldn't be much trouble to get in at all. started there and then I use the driver just to flatten it all the way down okay so the next thing we want to do is connect the power cable between the power supply board and the analog board and this can be a little bit tricky because of how close this connector and this connector are to each other. And when you first put it on, you'll see the arm here is hitting the connector and it won't sit all the way down. So what you want to do is kind of just get some tweezers or a small flathead screwdriver in between there and then it'll snap down. And then this one snaps just like that. But this side, you want to make sure it's sitting flush and all the way down. And that's it. Thank you.